Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fun 4, Kaiserreich as the Ching. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, there's, there's a lot of shit happening. China's falling apart. Let's just not worry about that. We're having an emerging meeting, and I'm not too sure... Because you don't matter which one we do, right? So we can either deal with unrest. The Manchu Restoration, like, I kind of want to do the Manchu Restoration. I want to have a strong... Not elections, we're not going to blacate, we're not requesting a German bailout, are you out of your goddamn mind? We're probably going to deal with the unrest. Who has not intervened in the league collapse? Okay, that's, that's basically all we have to do. We have, like, we're not fa doing anything in favor. We could intervene on you. Let me just see. Over, we removed national spirit, overwhelming national debt. We can nationalize some industry. Because no matter what, we can do the future of the elite clique. Anti-concession. Spread pro-imperialist messages. Like, you are... Like, I think I want to keep you in charge. I think. The Manchu Restoration. This focus will stop out this focus for the Manchu Restoration Tree. Like, what do you do? Hmm. I think we'll just maybe like do the new elections. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what the events are. And we'll kind of read it and kind of play it by ear. The Ripples of Black Monday. Honestly, that's not so bad. Maybe because we've, um... The illusion of Ching had mentioned he has shattered. Well, that sucks for us because right now we now have no allies whatsoever. There is an uprising in Funyan, which I'm assuming is down there. While most of China and the world assumed that the Kuomintang were destroyed in 1927, League Marshal Sun has been fighting a low-intensity guerrilla conflict with the remnants of KMT since the end of the Northern Expedition in the Funyan area. Reports uh, were centered from the press, and even Wu Peifu remains largely unaware of the true scope of the conflict, with Sun keeping all details tightly under wraps. With the current chaos in the League, however, the remnants of KMT have re-emerged and declared a new campaign of national reunification. They have declared our rifle government illegitimate, calling us little more than a German puppet. I've, like, removed all their influence. What are you talking about? Slaving to the winds of Berlin. You are, you have no idea what you're talking about. I kicked out every single German person in the country, kind of. They've like 7% support. The moment of truth. Skirmish between Chan... I guess maybe we actually don't have a choice of which one we actually choose here. Um, there is the Chan Chao Yun's troops and forced loyal to Qi Xiao Yun's Nanjing clique have escalated into open battle. Now comes the time to honor a commitment to Governor Chen and launch our intervention to support his regime. So we get 5% war support. Are we actually declaring war on anybody? On who's getting some support? We gain popular support for Wu Pai Fu. Yeah, you know what? Our troops march south to defend China. Do I need to go? Do I actually need to go down there? I don't know. Following Marshal Wu's decision to attack the Nanjing government, he ordered President Chao Kun. Okay, so it was not... Who's son then? I'm not, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, there are people who... There's so many people that have already been introduced in this, this story that it's, it's going insane. Uh, so he broadcast from the balcony of the Forbidden City and a large crowd gathered below to transmit over the radio a first in China. Citizens, for the century we have suffered under foreign oppression for too long at the Louisian lapdogs for the whims of the British, Germans, and Americans, but no more. Today we stand independent. The armies of the Son of Heaven march south to destroy the traitor, Marshal Xi, and his German lackeys. We will no longer be subservient to the whims of Berlin. We cast off the shackles of the century of humiliation and say to the world, China is free once again. Speech met with rounding applause and cheers, and soon sections are transcribed to pamphlets and passed around China. So we have quit the legation cities. We get 50 political power out of that. The southern governors have cut contact, which is not surprising that they don't like us. With violence in the league escalating daily, the governors of Yunnan, Tang Zhao, and uh, Gang Zhong, Chen Jiaoming, have stopped res uh, responding to the official government requests for information and updates on what is happening in their territory. They have long despised their government, and while this move is not unexpected, it represents a complete change in our, their official demeanor of our government. Many of Wu's inner circle fear that this uh, arrows a complete collapse of our authority, and this morning news out of Shangxi confirms these worries. Uh, Yan Xinxiao, Governor Shangxi, has formally denounced her the actions of our government in what he has now been termed as the Yangtze Incident earlier this week. I mean, I didn't mean to shoot all those refugees. It just kind of happened. Uh, when Governor... Uh, okay, there, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff happening. You don't like me right now? Like, you really don't like me? 
Okay, yeah, so basically, I had no choice in the matter. We're gonna do some new elections, 21 days. Solidify control, please crack down. Nah, we, let's not worry about that for now. Yeah, we're, we're completely okay. There's absolutely zero German influence right now in China. So I would consider that to be a success in some regard. Marshal Wu, uh, Pifu, Bax, and Xing for the Emperor. Of course, of course. So do I move my troops down south? Ling Gao breaks free. So that is you down way to the south. I really do. Do I care that much? P the Peking Commission withdraws from Beijing. Immediately following President Chao's incendiary speech, plums of smoke began to emerge from the seats inside the German embassy and from the offices of the Peking Commission. The vast mobs had formed outside the gates, chanting anti concession slogans and burning German made clothes, furniture, and even hastily constructing effigy of the Kaiser. Police and Zeli along military units quickly arrived to prevent the scene from turning ugly, but by nightfall, most German officials and their Chinese hanger ons have been fled to Taojin. Without German support, you are forced to prove the military on your own. I can do that for sure. Maybe. Um, does that unlock something new in here? No, because that's basically, this is everything. Oh no, okay, it's down here, it's on our own. That's okay. We don't, we don't need no Germans. They're going to be fighting in a big war anyways. Hunan succeeds from the League. The Hunan province has fallen sway of Sun Chao Feng during the chaos of the 1929 Northern Expedition, and Governor Zhao Haiti has resumed control of the province after a brief period of KMT rule. A longtime ally of Wu, Zhao has been a governor of the region since 1920. However, with the ties to the federal government in Gaoxing, tactically supporting the federal model, as of now, he has taken a strictly neutral stance, torn between his personal friendship with Wu and his political loyalties to Chen Chaoming. His neutrality over cannot last long, and already clouds beginning to circle around his rule of the province. So you kind of like us. Somewhat. I will like to go... I mean, I would like to change my military stance. Do I need any of this stuff? I can't do you. Can't do you. Yeah, I think I just, uh... Drill for early mobilization. I really don't think we ever need more recruitment possibilities, like maybe ever. We could train more troops. And seeing as we have 10,000 rifles, I mean, that seems like a good idea. You're horrible. You're better. So we're going to train up some of you guys. Actually, what, no, 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 no. how many of these guys do I have? I cannot remove special planet plates, so never mind. It doesn't matter. We'll get at least a handful of troops being built. Now there's the Civil War in Shoshan, which is... Somewhere. Yeah, you know, it, it's all fine. Don't worry about it too much. Gallo, see, okay, Ecuador, look. We love you, but you're complete. You, you don't matter right now. I could actually look. For the first time ever, the Chinese factions might be important. We got the Zili. Anjing is Zili aligned. The Nanjing is already Zili aligned. The Shoutdown clique is already ZLA aligned. I mean, so many people are already ZLA aligned. I, I feel like we're already doing a pretty good, uh... We got a pretty good start here. Song, Xiaoyun, ask Qing for help against the riots. Which one are you? Song, Xiaojing. Not you. It's you. Yes. A I can- you, you think I care about 8,000 manpower as China? Absolutely not. You can have those guys. It's completely okay. Got some maneuvers in the Capri TMs. We do got some new elections, though. Our decision to support the ancient government has been met with great support and approval from the population. In response, Marshal Wu has pers uh, persuaded Assembly President Ko Kun to declare a national uh, elections to capitalize on our new support. Theoretically, all literate men in China are eligible to participate, but local warlords, widespread chaos in the League, and other issues means that only uh, we only expect results from the areas under our direct control. Previous elections have seen razor thin margins, and while the body is largely powerless, to, uh, a buffer a number of seats under our control will boost our legitimacy in the long run. Okay, I mean that seems fine. Let's. How much? Is, what is deal with the? How, how bad is this? I mean, it's a construction speed penalty. I can default on the debt. What do, what do you actually do for us? You give us a little bit of army experience, which we do need for, um... Because we've only gotten three since uh, the beginning of the game. But I think for right now... We also got stuff here. Forty-two days, sixty days, sixty... 
yeah, let's do the future of the Z League clique. And we'll see how that goes out for us. The death of Pius the uh, 11th. Looks like the life game tier are going to die. And, like, can I, I could send you volunteers. I can actually send three divisions over, which I think I am going to do. We will assign you under this dude. He's a substance abuser, which probably is not, like, an ideal general, but... Ah, screw it. He can, he can be in charge. I will send you over three volunteers. Help you secure your position. Xiaodong, I think, was also zealy aligned. So, I mean, that's good. By the way, you, I've noticed, don't have a port to be in. Please dock. I'm, su I'm sure I'm wasting oil. Having you guys just be around. Not like an ideal situation, for sure. I think, what do we actually want to do? Probably move troops up towards the north. Lindenburg of the east. Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Why not? You actually, do you guys have any aircraft? Because aircraft... You have zero. You have zero. So actually, if I also... I can send 30 planes. I mean, I have I have planes and they have zero. So no matter what, I feel like we're still going to be in a good position. we do some ground support for you. We did get a research speed. After that, let's go for another research speed bonus. I think that seems pretty good. And you've already won. Okay, I mean, that worked out really, really well for us then. So, Anjing is doing pretty well. Armament Department seeks asylum. The Civil War in Shaoshun has ended. Our allies in the Armament Department have been defeated by the Bodeng Department. Fleeing possible retribution from Deng uh, Jinyao. Uh, leadership of the former ruling clique. Like, I don't know. Who are you from? But yeah, you can be. You can come. Sure. I, I think that makes an okay amount of sense. Chen Chaoyun is now a model governor. So congratulations, Chen Chaoyun. Uh, okay, Governor Nanjing. It's called his rule after victory of the Nanjing clique and in the league collapse. Well, he's suddenly part of a government. The province largely uh, enjoys a large degree of autonomy. Fantastic. We get a little bit of stability back. So I don't know what it actually takes to uh, unify China. I'm sure we'll find out in enough time. You are so expensive. Even, even then, like our one mod that I have... For the army experience does kind of break this event a little bit for sure. Cost. Okay, so it costs a lot of political power to integrate provinces. And we can't just fight war because world tension's a little bit too short. Famine is breaking out in Sichuan. Where is. It's down here, isn't it? I don't actually know where Sichuan is, to be quite honest. Oh, it's right here, actually. Yeah, because you're in the middle of a civil war, which is actually really bad. So the civil war, like, within a civil war, it's kind of like a, a mess, uh, to say the least. But that is okay. Who doesn't love a mess every once in a while? I'm, I'm glad that we have mostly gotten past the, um... I've gotten past all the massive dialogue uh, text. The future of the Zili clique. The Zili clique, like every other warlord clique in China, operates primarily on the basis of seniority and on a mentor-mentee relationships. This, while usually providing stability and reducing uh, the possibility for backstabbing, also strives to meritocracy, promotion based on skill. With the recent deaths and advancing age of many senior officers, however, we are being forced to take drastic action and promote younger officers to the forefront of our military. Four candidates have emerged for elevation for the full general course. You can read out the names. I'm not going to do it. A defense plan for China. Following Wu Pifu's call for a meeting of the uh, senior Zili generals, a large number have arrived in Luyang, leaving their subordinates in charge of the frontline duties. The first pressing concern is picking a centralized defense strategy for the inevitable war with Japan and the Fanning government. The northern traders' grow, uh, growing boldness in the wake of the league collapse have alarmed many senior commanders, including Jing Bali and Lu Minyang. Uh, and the two men have spent the last few weeks codifying plans to have been developing for the last two years and presented them to the assembly Zili commanders. Jing focused on large-scale defensive fortifications, moving industry to the interior of China, and rousing for the fighting spirit of Japan or defeat Japan. Right, the fighting spirit of China to defeat Japan. Well, not the uh, direct opposite to Jing Japan. The Lu's plan focuses more on improving the fighting capacity of Zili troops. That has to be better. Like, just right off the bat. 
Let me just take a look. It's either you. So that's two civilian factories, military factories. I mean, that's pretty good. Attack and defense on core territory. Now, what is considered core territory? See, these are all claimed territories. They're not core territory. And, um... You. Two civilian factories. Oh, so it's the same amount of military factories. But you give us four extra military factories. Your book seems political power. I, I, no, we gotta go for you. Jean Bali. Do you do anything like, if this is... Does it do anything else? I mean, just, I, I guess we'll go for you. We'll go for your plan. I think that seems okay. Who the hell is that? I have no idea who you are. You must be someone who's new in the update. Uh... Deng Zhao take control of Sichuan, which is less than ideal because I think you are ally. Okay, so so you don't you don't like us, which is very unfortunate. Uh, I wish there was an easier way for me to see this. The Swish, I mean, the Sichuan's unaligned. I feel like that's still better than um before, but like we actually have, we have a decent amount of support already. So if we can keep our supporter base happy and not wanting to kill us. You should win this war. Yeah, like, I can't imagine Anjing losing against Le Le uh, Left KMT. Left KMT is, hot, like, hot garbage. They're horrible. Um, yeah, let me just do another uh, thing. Let's go for concentrated industry. Uh, Zhang Haoti wins the Hunan elections. Wufu put old friends. I just won the recent provisional election in Hunan. Well, this in um, initially might seem good for us. Zhao's electoral victory also means that he has reaffirmed his commitment to the federal values. How... Dare you. I'm assuming now, if you look at Chinese factions, Hunan... Is, I mean, they're unaligned. Which, I, I guess, it's not directly opposing us. But it's still not an ideal situation. And I don't know how we can actually create a faction. We have won the election! Congratulations to me! I, I feel like it was probably a little bit one-sided, but we'll just not worry about that so much. Two swing factories will improve a railroad. Yeah, a bunch of railroad. Ah, uh, after that we get some free steel, a civilian fall. You know what? We I think we rushed down to trying to build up our coalition as fast as possible. So what do we actually get? Phase one, phase two, phase three. The fortifications it does kind of suck, but I really think those military factories will pay off in good time. How much do I have? I've, I can get like... You are... I'm assuming here. Do I need the other ones? Eastern Shangxi. I mean, we might as well get all of them. And the civilian factories, I really don't think are that much of a problem. Because we're not really trading anything. Um, we're not really... Constructing too much either. So our... Our factories... Kind of are meaningless right now. Like, we don't really have the big industrial base that I would like. So using them to build the fortifications, I think, is an okay uh, thing to do. And we we just need to do these three, and then we actually just immediately do this. It also gives a bunch of defense on core territory, which actually would probably be really useful against Japan and a uh, fattening government. Like, I don't trust them a lot, for obvious reasons. Recla oh, you're rearming the Northeast. I thought you said reclaiming. I'd be like, okay, that's a little bit too early. Can't reclaim me quite yet, please. I beg of you. You're still doing okay. You have split the left KMT in half. But yeah, we'll get all three of these done. And within like half a year, we'll have completed his plan. I don't know what the other modifiers for the other general were. We've got you done. Excavation, I don't think we really want. Let's go for... Better rifles, because right now our rifles are garbage. Really bad. So let's try to make those a little bit uh, better for us. If at all possible. The only thing is I'm actually like lagging a little bit more than off usual. I'm not too sure what... There might be like stuff happening in the world that I'm not really paying attention to. 
which is entirely possible. Yeah, I actually don't know what's uh, causing the game to lag every once in a while. The left cam T is definitely dead. Uh, that's beautiful for us. That's going to be, you know, one more country gone. I love you. Plus 200. Why is that so high? We're friendly towards you. I mean, Anjing at the most, or at the least, I should say, is going to support us, I'm pretty sure, no matter what. New offices for the Beijing Laos Bank Council. Anjing, more Qing influence. Yes, please. As much influence as I can possibly get. Right now, cooperation is low. But if I can get that to go up a little bit higher, that would be nice. Does anything else have any uh, numbers here? I know you have fractions. Like, I know you can split up. And hopefully you will. Soon. Please break in half. And then, like, the two of you fight it out. Because right now, you're doing some, like, Republican nonsense. If you could just... Never have an election again. It'd be too soon. The white sun over China. Just... I, I do not care. Okay, Poland has fallen to nationalism. That can create some weird situations that we've kind of had in the past. Uh, let's get one of these kind of trashy units out. And I guess I'll put you on the border with Shang-Chi. Just for right now. Yeah, yeah like a basic offensive line going into the country. Because right now we have 5,000 rifles. Do like one more there. And I have 2,500 left over. So we need both, right? Yes. So I guess we're going to go for steel. Do we need steel? No. So I guess we go for one civilian factory first. Just because we, we don't need the steel at this exact moment. But I do think... It's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not, you can always thumb down. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.